Welcome to another episode of On the Peg with me, your host, the Mad Montreal Man, the ugly guy who does this show. But before we get into the toy review today, I just want to point something out because someone did mention to me how come I don't have an entire corner of empty toy packages. And what's that thing hanging behind me? Okay, that is a Sergeant Rock original splash page signed by Sam Goodsman, the artist for it. It was a gift that was given to me way back in Montreal, and I love it. It's one of my favorite pieces of original artwork that I have. That's why it's hanging there. So every time I go downstairs or upstairs to my office, I get to look at this beautiful piece of artwork that's signed. And it means a lot to me because I used to read and love Sergeant Rock comic books. That's why it's there. Will it be there for Season 3? I don't know. Will there be a Season 3? I still don't know. But that's besides the point today on this wonderful show we call On the Peg. Mr. Freeze! Yeah, looking at DC Multiverse's Victor Freeze, to be more precise. So let's take him out of the package, take a look at him, and we'll be back shortly. Victor Freeze out of the package and uh, I really like some details on this guy I love the boots I love the fact that you can take the dome off and get a nice really good shot of his face um, I'm not gonna say it uh, you have to sort of lean him in a certain way he doesn't stand up straight he does lean backwards kind of explains why I always put a painting behind them isn't it it's not just to show my abstract art you know it's because I don't want him falling down and breaking because a lot of times when you're filming <laughs> you know they want to tend to oh look he's already leaning backwards look he's leaning backwards you can't see it but he's leaning backwards it's like he's about to go any minute now uh, for the most part though I really like the fact I picked him up he's a really cool Mr. Freeze uh, he makes me think a lot Batman animated more than anything else which is nice because that was a great series, a great Mr. Freeze, great voice actor for that one as well. I love the fact that you can adjust the head. You can actually tilt the head back a little bit when you take the helmet off. The gun's a bit stupid, but whatever. Uh, I'm happy I picked him up. I picked him up, of course, you know where, at GameStop. Uh, if you're in Vancouver, I would definitely say try GameStop. Uh, you can also try Tasmanian Comics. There's another store to open up in Vancouver, but I don't know them, so I'm not going to mention them. I'm not sure if they're good or not. They're not the 8th, so I, I don't know. But Taz, I used to go to, and like I said, I mention stores that give me good customer service, either now or in the past. If you're in Ireland, Sub City Comics. If you're in Dublin and Sub City Comics doesn't have it, then, you know, of course, you're going to go to Big Bang Comics, also known as the Big Smoke. If you're in London, oh, come on, you should know it by now, Forbidden Planet. Or if you're in Scotland, you can always try Castle Comics. That's pretty much it. I don't think I have anyone else to mention, really. No, I think that's it. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I have a, this, this week of working evenings is going to be terrible, stressful, tiring, but yay, whatever. So, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. once again, thank you for watching On The Peg. Uh, I know you're probably expecting Leroy Jr.'s videos, but to be honest, I've just been too tired to edit them. Yeah, yeah. So I guess the next one we're probably going to do to make the pile go down faster, we'll probably do this guy, you know, the Red Hood, the Gray Edition. It's really, you know, I don't even feel like reviewing this one. It's basically the Red Hood figure that I reviewed once before, and he's gray. Yeah, that's it. You know what? I'm not going to review this one. This one, I am not going to review. I'm going to review it right now. Okay, it's the Red Hood. I've already reviewed the normal version of him. He's pretty cool. He's not a bad Red Hood. 
Had a few problems with the color on the original one. This one's gray, so you can paint it yourself. Yeah, the red hood's been reviewed. Yay. And he's still in package. And I'll probably do, uh, well, I've only got uh, four DC Multiverse that aren't on the, are on in the house. So it's getting there. It's getting there. Yep. And we'll see you next time on the peg. It's me, your friendly and ugly man. Uh, hey, it's me, speaking. the host with the most. That's not me either. Ha <laughs> ha! If you think I have the most, you're wrong. Hey, welcome to another episode of On the Peg. But to begin with, just to get some clarification. Wow. Does it show us at work today? <clears throat> Ahem, let's try that again, shall we? Hey, welcome yet again to On The Pig. I am the host that you recognize, because I'm the only guy doing this show, really. No, that's not true either. Never mind. What were I take? Okay, a minute in, this is nothing good. All right, try this again. Okay, okay, I know you guys like the bloopers, but the Ferris Bueller bit, I'm getting tired of. You know? You keep watching the credits for the end to see more and more bloopers, but I don't always have that many bloopers. Unless you just like seeing my ugly face, me making noises and weird faces like this. There you go. I'll see you next time. No, go away now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off the video. That's it. It's over. Right now.